Even in 2024, the Acid Lab is still one of the best businesses for making money solo in GTA Online. In this video, I'll explain exactly how it works, everything you need to know about how to unlock it, exactly how to use it, and exactly how much money you can make. So, if you enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. If it helps you out, subscribe for more stuff like this, and let's jump in to the Acid Lab. First things first, how do we actually unlock this? What you want to do is go up to the R that's on your map up at Blaine County, and this is going to set you off on a short story. This is just the first mission of six missions you're going to need to complete in order to unlock the Acid Lab. The first mission takes place right here, and the next five will take place outside the freak shop in the city. After you've completed the first mission, just go over to this D on your map and start up the five DAX missions. Upon completing all of these missions, your character will steal the Brigade 6x6 and store it in the freak shop. From there, you have one more mission to complete. You'll have to go to one of three rival labs somewhere in Los Santos and complete a short forklift mission. You're going to need to put these three crates onto the back of this truck in here and then drive the truck back to the freak shop. Once you've done that, you can finally buy the acid lab. So once that's all done, go inside the freak shop, come over and talk to this character here. His name is Mutt. Pay Mutt $750,000 and you've got yourself an acid lab in the back of the Brocade 6x6. Before I get into the details of exactly how the Acid Lab works, one of the most important things I'll go over in this video is the equipment upgrade for the Acid Lab. This is going to more than quadruple your potential profits for this business. In order to unlock it, go talk to Mutt in the Freak Shop. Click on Acid Lab Upgrades, and you can see here, in order to unlock the equipment upgrade, you will need to complete 10 DAX Fooligan missions. To start these missions, call up DAX on your phone and request work. These missions are pretty simple, they should take about 5 to 15 minutes to complete. They'll also pay you out $50,000, but the problem is they have a 48 minute cooldown until you can do them again. You need to complete 10 of these in order to unlock the equipment upgrade for the lab, so that's going to take you about 10 hours. So start these as soon as possible, because as we'll get into in a minute when I talk about the profits from this business, this upgrade will more than quadruple the amount of money you can make. Okay, let's talk about how the Acid Lab works and how you can make money. Well, just like the five MC businesses in the game, as well as the bunker, this business is a passive business and works in a very similar way. You've got your supplies bar on the bottom right, and over time, Mutt, who is working in your Acid Lab, will convert those supplies into product that you can eventually sell. However, there are some key differences with this business that make it a bit more unique and, in my opinion, better than the other businesses. So first things first, how do we get supplies for the business? There's two ways you can do it, and if you're a veteran, you know this by now. You can either steal the supplies, or you can buy them. In order to steal the supplies, come over to this part of your acid lab and start a source mission. This will put you in a mission where you have to go out, steal the supplies, and bring them back to the acid lab. When you're in this mission, once you collect the supplies, you can actually just request your acid lab and bring it pretty close to you. To do that, head into your interaction menu, go down to services, and click request acid lab. This is going to spawn it nearby, meaning you don't actually have to go that far in order to deliver these supplies. Being able to do that is a pretty big improvement over other passive businesses in the game, but the same problem still remains. If you're doing this solo, one steel mission is only going to fill up just over one of the five supplies bars, and it's going to be more time effective to just buy the supplies. So how do we do that? Well, there's two ways you can buy supplies for the Acid Lab. The first is going inside the Acid Lab, talking to Mutt and resupplying them for $60,000. The second way, if you're not inside your acid lab, is just call Mutt on your phone and you can do the exact same thing there. Either buy or source supplies. And that's right, I didn't misspeak. Resupplying this business only costs $60,000, opposed to $75,000 with the bunker and MC businesses. So you're going to be saving yourself $15,000 when compared to all of those other businesses, which is pretty nice. It means we get a bit more profit, so I'm not complaining. Now that we have a full supplies bar, how much money is this going to make us and how long is it going to take? Well, first, let's talk about if we don't have the equipment upgrade. Without the equipment upgrade, one full five bars of supplies will make us $74,000. $250. That's going to take us 1 hour, 52 minutes, and 30 seconds. 
in order to completely fill your acid lab without any upgrades, that's going to take you 3.2 full bars of supplies. Or if you're measuring it in the fifths that it shows you, 16 of those mini bars. I hope you haven't skipped your math class. Let's do some math. That means to completely fill the acid lab, that is going to take you exactly six hours with a full value of $237,600. So how much money does that make us per hour? Well, if we were stealing supplies, we would get $38,610 per hour. However, if we bought all of our supplies, that would cost us $192,000 to get 3.2 bars of supplies meaning our total profit across the six hours would be $45,600 or $7,600 an hour. So safe to say, just like all of the other passive businesses in the game, do not buy supplies for this business until you have the equipment upgrade. Now, if you do have the equipment upgrade, which after you complete those 10 DAX missions is going to cost you $250,000, bringing the total cost to $1 million for this business. Once we have this upgrade, things start to get pretty juicy. With the equipment upgrade, the value of our product increases by just over 41%, and it also produces 33.3% faster. Overall, this means not including the price of buying supplies, this business will now make 80 $3,800 per hour. That's 2.17 times more than without the upgrade. But there's also some other benefits as well that make it much more than that 2.17 times increase. Firstly, now the total cost if we have a full acid lab is going to be $335,200. Not only that, but instead of having to wait six hours for our acid lab to be full, now it's going to happen in four hours. On top of that, normally it would, like I said earlier, cost 3.2 full supply bars in order to fill up your acid lab. Now it's only going to be 1.6. So let's calculate the profit if we bought supplies for $60,000 each time. 1.6 full supply bars times $60,000 is $96,000 spent on supplies. A full acid lab is worth $335,200, meaning that our profit is going to be $239,200 in exactly those four hours, which means our net profit will be $59,800 per hour. That is pretty damn good. And that actually ranks it right behind the Coke lockup, which will make you $63,300 per hour. But there's a few things we have to keep in mind. All of the sale missions for the Acid Lab are completely solo. We're not going to get multiple spawn vehicles, and we'll dive into this in a second. But the second bonus this business has over the MC businesses is this little bench over here, where we can increase our production speed. Every day, or every 24 hours, you can use this production bench once. Once you do that, for the next half an hour or 30 minutes, your production speed is going to be doubled. Which means during that half an hour, your acid lab is going to produce what you would normally make in one hour. So if you don't have the upgrades, in the half an hour, it would make $38,610. And if you do have the upgrades, it would make $83,800. If you make sure you boost your acid lab once per day, its total production per hour actually goes up and overtakes the Coke locker. Meaning that in terms of passive businesses, the acid lab makes you the most money per hour in the game. So that's how we make profit. But what have I told you? You should be making even more money than this. That's right. You can actually give yourself a 5% boost on all of your acid sales just by giving your acid product a name. So to do this, all you have to do is go into your interaction menu, go to your service vehicles, click on acid lab, of course, and then just change your product name. You can change it to whatever you want. No matter what name you change it to, you will get a 5% bonus. And as you can see here, just me changing the name right there on the spot increases the value of my product by 5%. So make sure you actually do this. If you're not doing it, you're just costing yourself money, basically. Let's talk about the sale missions. All of your sale missions will take place on your delivery bike. That's right. No matter if you only have one bar of supplies or a full acid lab, you are only going to have the one sell vehicle. And I can't complain. It's a pretty quick and cool bike. Much better than any of the vehicles we get in the MC or even bunker sale missions. The timer on these missions is 20 minutes which means that these missions are most likely designed to be completed in about 10 minutes. And when compared to the MC businesses, this is pretty damn good and a lot faster. 
Keep in mind that in your free shop, you can also upgrade and customize this delivery bike, meaning you can increase the handling, increase the speed, and make it look how you want. That is most certainly a W in my book. Another thing to note is if you complete these sale missions in a public session, you're gonna get the high demand bonus or 2% extra money per player. Like you can see here, my acid lab was only supposed to be worth $335,000, but I got over $500,000 for this sale because because I did it in a full public lobby. Not only that, but another bonus with this business is because it's not an MC business, you can set yourself up as a SecuroServe VIP or CEO, which makes it a lot easier to sell in public sessions. The reason for that is you can go off the radar and activate Ghost Organization for three minutes. Yes, that's going to cost you $12,000 or $15,000 or whatever it is, but I'm more than happy to accept that cost when I'm making an extra $170,000 per sale for selling in a public session. And finally, I want to talk about the Acid Lab vehicle itself, the Brocade 6x6. You can call this vehicle to you no matter where you are on the map through your interaction services menu. A neat little feature as well is Rockstar lets us change the name of our Acid Lab to whatever we want. I named mine Jesse Let's Cook, obviously a Breaking Bad reference. And if you upgrade and customize this vehicle in your free shop, this thing becomes an absolute beast and one of the best armored vehicles in the entire game. Maybe even the best. You can put a massive scoop on the front of this thing so it becomes like a ramp car or a phantom wedge. The windows are lightly bulletproof so they're gonna be able to tank about 15 or 16 shots before they break. And this vehicle tanks, are you ready for it? 48 RPGs before it blows up. Yes, 48. I don't know about you, but I have never been shot by 48 RPGs ever in GTA Online. That's right, if someone's trying to grief you while you're in this vehicle, they are going to have an extremely difficult time. So there you have it. That's the Acid Lab. No, it doesn't make you as much money as a heist. But when it comes to passive businesses in GTA Online, this one is most certainly right at the top. Personally, this is now one of my favorite businesses in the entire game, ranking right behind or maybe even tied with the nightclub. So I'll wrap the video up there. I hope this helped you out. I hope it helped you understand how this business works. I know all businesses in this game can be a bit confusing. If this helped you, give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Poise!